Uh, hello everyone, it's, it, it's me once again. Yeah. Am I live? Yeah, I think I'm live. Yep. Not on streaming, but on video wise. Here we go. Yeah. Sorry about that, but. Yeah, this is for YouTube this time, so. As you noticed, here we go. So. Yeah, if you hear it all the way in Depressed Ginger recently for. Uh, it issues all the way for Hurricane Mountain and they end up went through Tampa Bay at this point. Yeah, he did mention this is this going to take some months to prepare or some sort, but he did not notice. You can see on screen right now, Fox Sports for NLB on Fox and they end up did post the tweet recently, or post me either way, so I still recognize tweets. He was saying. Tropicana Field will not be ready for the opening day on March 27th due to the damage sustained during her Hurricane Mountain prior Tampa Bay times on the race section. Where the Rays will be playing Toy Toy Fight is yet to be decided. So, yep. Yep. So. Yeah. So, technically. I don't know, one of the decisions is to just put a roof around to it, but the problem is I'm... It's by inflation and the right top of a... And the cost of everything these days, and also the cost of insurance. I literally do not know the beams are got damaged or not. Because if I never remember for... Technically after the damage or some sort, they kind of feel the some sort. You can see what happened to the Aloha Stadium with the metal that kind of contacts with seawater. It, it will corrode and rust. So I kind of feared... More time, but they're kind of afraid when the insurance all comes in. Some sort of the rope is pretty much about done for. So, yeah, they kind of say, yeah, now will not work. So the only other option is well, though, is okay, is to why not just remove to the end of things like an outside thing, what the ginger said, but. Yeah, that kind of thing. Problem is, there's no sake of like a riverfront added and all some some sort in the walls or some sort. Problem is, the kind of every ginger do not know about all this well because the walls also connect to the seats in the stands. You just you just cannot take down the wall down without they trying to get rid of some seats and some sort. You know, if the wall be moved, the upper half of the stands will be gone and the drop it in the. It might drop the sink capacity from like thirty thousand to like to twenty thousand, which is almost like a little league type park. So yeah, that's so taking down the every turn outdoor stadium is like not an option anymore. It is of some sort. So so also yeah, like for probably since three years, it just. It's just better just abandon the stadium and the demo than just get brick grounds by now. So we're already playing for the next three years for the race. Well, yeah, the problem is though, one option is to play in the new league ballpark. Major League Baseball does not want to want to do that. They love to do that because all we had the A's only playing Sacramento in, in the new league park right now, and because of transfer from Oakland Coliseum. To you guessed it, Las Vegas Dam. Yeah, from Brody Brazil's and the YouTube channel, they don't have also a lot of options too. They take on the Little League ballparks. The other option is playing the, the, the Tampa Bay Rays play in uh, Oakland Coliseum. Yeah, Oakland Coliseum, no, 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 no not, that ballpark is awful. Especially if the Rays are for three years in Oakland. Uh, and I, yeah, they, yeah, that's awful. You literally had to face the, they had to face with the possums and shit, and so they went through, and which is this is awful. So yeah, I think right now Oakland Coliseum is not no longer an option, and they cannot share with share the ballpark in Miami and in Atlanta. For the like I said, sharing Lone, Lone Depot and Trust Park is uh, Lone Depot Stadium, I think they call it. 
yeah, you know, it's true as parking. Yeah, it's no, it's not an option because they have to scramble up the schedule issue. Yeah, if there's one thing I like for Brody Brazil's thing, is I'll just show you later. Did they pick get, pick this up? Yes, so you can see right now, this is one of the other options, but I really liked it was some sort of really banging that this thing has happened. Yes, the Olympic Stadium in uh, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. So it is you know, one of the other options that Brody Brazil did. Yeah, and look, we never... Olympic Stadium in Brazil is going for the same route up here for, for almost a billion dollars. So far, I really wanted Olympic Stadium in Brazil to be a... They make a permanent home for CF Montreal. It does some sort as planned. But the problem is, it's most likely be the location for the race and the move there for three more years. Because, like I said, the Olympic Steam is like Tropicana Field, it's like a dome environment. Like that, or some sort. It's kind of similar. It's, it's, it's like a similar type nook. It's just, it kind of feels like home. But the, here's the thing. Look at the layout that they just found all the way. Like three twenty-five, but the quarters, and then went into the in the right, left is the outer field was like three seventy-five, and the center outer field was like four hundred. You know, like I said, when well, it's like a banner's ballpark and then they found all the way. It's just good. it's a very good hitters park. It's like a very very good hitters park, similar to you know, the see from the Texas Rangers. Uh, also, uh, I, don't, uh, I think another team too. Uh, yeah, we never took the Rangers to the ballpark in Arlington bef before the move to the new stadium. There, that, that stadium, that's no, that's kind of good definition of the Hills Park. This is can be the same thing. It's almost another one of those Hills Park. It is a see on already. It just makes sense. So all well, since it's only used as a soccer stadium, so why not just revert back to baseball for three more years with the race before the end of the to see if one go for a huge renovation and convert only to soccer stadium use and return to Olympic Stadium to Newark without without the push in wall. So they had to re release us in the stands there. But I'll tell you later about the head towards the soccer stadium re renovation for for major soccer once a little later and then other videos. So so why is this thing so unique in the first place? Well it's used to be home in Montreal Aspires back in the couple years ago they abandoned and became the Washington Net Nationals in two thousand four, two thousand five already, so the 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 issue is is they go through uh Roof repairs so recently, and he just recently got started. But there's roof repair a couple months back. I do not know, know for sure it's been complete or not, but it's in the. It is true. Compared to look at it, if they just go down right here. They did got. You can see some pictures all the way to the old ballpark. Look, and this is what it was back then as a baseball park. So it's for the former. At I suppose. Um, no, it's 2015, my bad. But they ended up for the Blue Jays game back then, for, as uh, one of those exhibition games. Yes, you should know it already, as you compared to looking at it. So, yeah. It just. kinda nice. So yeah, we never they did you the start right away the roof there. You to replace the third roof and Yeah they yeah they back in February two thousand twenty four they end up did increase uh, almost a billion dollars so they got started with the renovation already of so some sort. I will show you later what the roof looks like do in right now with the, as renders. Here's the renders of the, of the new roof for all the way, but it's show up, uh, whoops, uh, not this ad, sorry about that. Get me get out of that. Here's the renders for that new roof. And here's this, they have a, a glass exterior that we top of the same roof in the, from over there. And then here's, a, here's a better picture of this window, a glass window, surrounded by the part of the roof there. 
but the cables are still going to be there. Here's the inside look. You only see the soccer stadium or so, so yeah, and like I said, yeah, like I said, I don't like, I really do not like the scoreboard being so close to the action. Yeah, this is, I uh, believe, uh, I think there's stands back there, so they tell you later on that they end up being, yeah, I feel later on they had to, they had to get rid of the scoreboard to return to this. The seats was was back in 1976 once again for soccer in the future because it was uh, perfect back then. So that tell you later. The reason that they ran to put the scoreboard way more closer right there is because it exposed baseball team back in uh, 19 I think 1980s or 1981 1980s somewhere. If not a little bit earlier than that, can remember. So it's on me and that one. So that's the reason. So. That's the roof to change the air. Um, yeah, so far the looks kind of cool at this point. It says here the, pro the, the project see the completion in 2028, which by I think by then the rays are gonna be out. So that means it's probably either gonna be the roof is still gonna be closed around this construction at this point. Of the new roof for, for sure. There's some sort of things to be open or if not closed. For the most of the things maybe closed a little bit during the renovations is done. So yeah, that's technically what it looks like right now. Unless it moves a little bit more faster. So yeah. This is what I think it's supposed to look like for the for So technically for right now, so yeah, the roof repairs can be finished by Troy Troy Ape, which by then the race can be, whoops, sorry, yeah, that was, yeah, I had to say Troy, there's no gems there, but okay, so, yeah, gem my cat, or, or cat, I meant say, so, I do apologize for that, so here we go, yeah, the steam will not be finished until 2028 two, two, by then the rays can be back in Tampa in the new stadium. So that means, so yeah, the, the Tampa Bay Rays are going to be playing in Montreal during the roof is on, under construction. So which means, I don't know it's not right, but it's good. I think it's probably for the best. I figure, I, I think after the roof construction finished from Olympic Stadium there, I figure I really want to see a much out in the end of the permanent home Olympic Stadium out of Simp Simto Stadium. It's ranked to the one, I think one of the top five worst stadiums in between soccer. Get it compared to what, compared to what it looks like. So, yeah. So it's kind of ranked kind of horribly eh? compared to uh, the, how it works. Yeah, I've been also the yeah, Olympic City needs some in, in, in interior renovation. We moved our scoreboard and they end up in the right front of the stands and had to push the scoreboard back to the original 1976 spot for back Olympics. Make pushing the scoreboard all the way back to the back and bring back some seats. There to the end and that just looks kinda of perfect for soccer. Because we know they add that they moved the scoreboard forward after 1976 to make room for the Montreal Expos baseball team back then. Whoops. Didn't know uh, that was our window. Oh my god, none of our cats. Gotta get out. So. So, yeah, so. So now I really want to get the get sports scoreboard push all the way out towards uh, the back to the way by the 1976 when we soccer. So yeah, that might be it. So yeah, so that might be it as planned. So yeah, thanks to the past ginger to the end to get onto a little bit of topic about what's going on Drop a field. Some sort really in the recently, and it's, it's some sort. Thinks the Brody Brazil to give me some list of definition of what's gonna be at. 
So also, thanks to uh, Steam DB and others for the can tell me when the Olympic Games because when I just gonna be complete. So yeah. So yeah, that is it for the situation. But with yeah, with Tampa Bay Rays and you know for the Steam situation. So that is it. So. See you in the next video, and, uh, and well, I'm officially now out of here. And also, stay tuned for the the passenger for more uh, information for the race. And and good luck, everyone. Have a great day, and I'm officially out of here.